Hey, hey there, Elites. How's it going? It's me, your boy. And something big just happened. Minecraft 1.16.2 Java Edition, it's out now. What happens when a Minecraft update releases? Oh, you already know what your boy does. It's definitely breakdown time. Now, Minecraft 1.16.2 is a minor update. It's not the biggest Minecraft update in the world, but there are definitely some changes that made it into Minecraft in this update that you're definitely gonna wanna know about, including a brand new mob. In this video, we're going to cover just about everything new and everything that has been changed in Minecraft 1.16.2. If you enjoy this breakdown, do me a big favor and drop a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, lucky day. Today is a day that you can definitely subscribe, uh, just like every other day. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yep, do that too. And finally, down in the comments below, let me know what you think about Minecraft's newest mob, the Piglin Brute. So 1.16.2, it's a minor update, but there are some big changes inside of the minor update, including the addition of the brand new Piglin Brute mob. A lot of other features have also received some changes. Let's start with the Bastion, one of Minecraft's biggest structures. The Bastion has received two big changes in Minecraft 1.16.2. The first change that we're going to take a look at has to do with the loot chest generation inside of these structures. As of 1.16.2, the loot chests that generate inside of Bastions are now a whole lot more likely to generate on top of Gilded Blackstone or with Gilded Blackstone below them. Same thing. This is going to make sneakily stealing the loot from these things with hoppers a whole lot more difficult. But it's not the most dangerous thing that has been added to the Bastion in this update. Because Minecraft's newest mob is way, way more dangerous. Say hello to the Piglin Brute. You probably don't want to say hello to it. It's very aggressive and very mean. Piglin Brutes have 50 health. That's a lot of health. These creatures are a whole lot stronger than normal Piglins. But thankfully, these creatures won't be found everywhere in the Nether. If you're looking for a Piglin Brute, for whatever reason, first you're gonna need to find a Bastion. Piglin Brutes will only spawn inside of Bastions, but you're also gonna need to find a new Bastion because Piglin Brutes will only spawn during world generation inside of Bastion Remnants and they do not respawn. Once you take all of the Piglin Brutes out, they're gone for good at least in that bastion. Now, Piglin Brutes, they're always gonna be mad at the player, no matter what. Like, even if you're wearing gold armor, they just don't like you at all. And, uh, yeah, if I haven't said yet, be careful around these creatures. They are very, very strong. They don't like lava or fire, though, so if you can knock one into lava, um, they'll go away. Uh-huh. Overall, the brand new Brute is a really cool mob, but it's also very, very dangerous. Definitely be careful around these guys. They are definitely one of the most dangerous mobs in the entire nether now. Next up, let's talk old mobs, or mobs that were already in Minecraft before the update. First up, the Piglin. The Piglin now has a new thing that makes it angry. Piglins do not like it if the player opens a minecart with a chest in it near them. Just like with normal chests, the Piglins will get angry, charge at you, and try and attack you. You're gonna have to be careful. Endermen have also received a small update in this update. As of 1.16.2, Endermen can no longer place blocks down on bedrock. So if you have an Enderman that's holding grass and maybe it gets on top of the nether somehow, that grass block won't end up on the ground up here. At least if you haven't built up here yet and it's all bedrock. Same goes for the low, low reaches of your world. If the block's bedrock, Enderman, no block. Admittedly, this next one's a little weird, don't know why you would do this, but Zoglins. You can now put a lead on the Zoglin and lead them around. It's pretty cool, but that's also pretty dangerous, so yep, maybe just don't do it. But now you can do it, if this is what you've always wanted to do. You see these three blocks right here? What do they all have in common? Well, before Minecraft 1.16.2, if a mob had their head inside of one of these blocks for whatever reason, they wouldn't suffocate. 1.16.2 changes everything though. These blocks will now suffocate mobs if their heads are inside of these blocks. Plot twist, 1.16.2, it's actually village and pillage update v2. Uh, okay, not quite. But there have been a couple villager changes in 1.16.2. The first change has to do with villagers and dimensions. If a villager crosses dimensions, it will now lose its job. The second change has to do with villagers and particles. If we place this job down right here, and the villager comes back over here, okay, you know what? If we place the job down and the villager takes the job, green particles, just like that. If we place the bed down and the villager claims the bed, green particles, again, just like that if we place a bed over here and this guy focuses claim the bed take the bed come on come on small brain okay okay maybe not but you get the point if the villager takes a job or a bed green particles will show up if a villager also joins the village green particles will again show up it's a pretty minor change that makes its way over to java that was previously on bedrock edition and so, in terms of mob updates, I think that's actually going to do it. Now let's move on to items and blocks. First up, the lantern and the soul lantern. Take a look at these two wonderful things. Notice anything, um, 
watery about them, yeah, they're underwater now. That's a new thing. Before this update, lanterns couldn't be waterlogged, but now they can. If you're making an underwater base or just trying to light up some land under the water, you now have two brand new options. They both look amazing. There have been some respawning changes in Minecraft 1.16.2, specifically when it comes to the respawn anchor and the bed. The first change has to do with where you're going to respawn around these things. So let's say we have this bed in the overworld and we set our spawn at it on this side of the bed. Then something bad happened to us. When we respawn back at the bed, we're going to actually respawn on the side of the bed that we entered the bed from. So this side. Let's say we have the same exact setup, but this time we're in the nether and we set our spawn at this respawn anchor from this side. We should respawn at the respawn anchor from this side, unless this block is blocked. If these blocks are blocked right here, then we're going to spawn on one of the other flat sides of the respawn anchor. If all of the other flat sides of the respawn anchor are blocked, then we'll respawn diagonally from the respawn anchor. Oh yeah, that's right, respawn location prioritization has been changed in this update as well. Exciting stuff here, gamers. Big stuff. When it comes to beds, first the game is going to try and respawn you on the side of the bed that you entered the bed from, and then if it can't spawn you there, it'll start at the bottom of the bed and work up towards the head of the bed. In all honesty, these are some pretty small changes, but if you like to pay attention to the tiny, tiny details of Minecraft, you know, the details that you probably never have noticed before, then you're probably going to love these changes. If you're a creative mode player, this is the update for you, for sure, because the tools inside the creative inventory, they've been rearranged. They're now arranged in order of their class, so wood, then stone, then gold, then iron, then diamond, and then finally, netherite. Minecraft 1.16.2 brings some bartering loot table changes. For example, Blackstone Spectral Arrows and Water Bottles are now inside of the bartering loot table, meaning you can get this stuff from piglins. However, on the other side of things, we have a big exit. Glowstone and Magma Cream can both no longer be obtained through bartering. Big rip there on the Glowstone. It was renewable for a while, and it was amazing. We have some texture changes to Potted Cactus. Potted Cactus now uses a different top texture, and it now actually doesn't have an invisible bottom. There was a problem with the nether vegetation catching fire. That problem has been removed. Nether vegetation no longer catches fire. The nether fungi, you know, crimson fungi, warped fungi, they can both now be planted on mycelium like all other mushrooms, but they can't be grown big on these blocks. If you want those giant nether tree things, you'll still need to find their respective blocks. Crimson nylium, warped nylium. Eating puffer fish now has a different effect. If you eat a puffer fish, you will now be granted the Lux 7 effect. I just kidding, don't do it. You're gonna get nausea 1 instead of nausea 2. There is no difference between nausea 1 and nausea 2 though. The Totem of Undying received a big nether upgrade in this update. The Totem of Undying now gives fire resistance for 40 seconds when activated. This change will make the Totem of Undying a whole lot more useful inside of the nether. This one's a big one. Ever since the addition of chains in Minecraft 1.16, builders have requested horizontal changes. 1.16.2 makes that happen. Chains can now be placed in this direction as well. Unfortunate fact, chains don't link still. Really wish they would link up. That would be amazing, and we should be able to hang lanterns off of these, but nope, that's not a reality. But this right here, the horizontal chain thing, that is a reality. That's pretty cool. And finally, for our block and item changes, we have a brand new crafting recipe. That recipe is for the brewing stand. Brewing stands can now be crafted with blackstone, and just like this in a crafting table. The old recipe does still work. Next up, let's talk about some menu changes. Inside of the menus, over in the accessibility settings, we have two brand new toggles. Distortion effects, which can be turned up and down, and FOV effects, which can be turned up and down. Distortion effects are things like nausea and entering another portal. FOV effects are things like running on soul sand with soul speed. If we lower this, our FOV will be changed less in the future. If we lower the distortion one, the whole wobbly screen thing, distortion effects, they're gonna be a whole lot less. If we lower the distortion effects toggle enough and then we end up with nausea somehow our screen is actually going to turn slightly green which is actually really really cool looking now it looks like yeah 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 you can see the green kind of starting to happen let's go ahead and go back in here and lower this even more this is kind of pretty cool here yeah you, you see the green it's getting pretty green now mm -hmm. no more wobble vision just green you can also find the new toggles inside of the video settings menu as well 
Ah, now technical changes. We'll start with tag changes. There have been quite a few tag changes in this update. You know, things like this right here. I'm not going to dive into this stuff too much because most players aren't really going to care about this, but tag changes. Those things have happened in this update. The spawn point and set world spawn commands now have a brand new angle perimeter for setting the default facing angle of the respawning player. This is the stuff right here. Continuing the technical change stuff, take a look at these changes to the slash execute command. Speaking of technical changes, even more technical changes. Yep, there's been lots of technical stuff changed in this update. And finally, 1.16.2 has added even more support for custom biomes and custom dimensions. I really wonder if this is hinting at the future of Minecraft. And as to be expected, like every other Minecraft update, 1.16.2 brings a good handful of bug fixes as well. But for 1.16.2, that is going to be just about it. What's your favorite feature or change in 1.16.2? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you like how Bastion's got a whole lot more difficult in this update? Yes or no? If you enjoyed this video, do me and the video a big favor by leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. Likes and subscribes, they help out big time. I've got some huge plans for something big and new coming very, very soon. Make sure you stay tuned for that. I think you're going to love it. It's going to be one of the biggest things I've ever done. But I don't know. You didn't hear any of that here. Today, big shout out to my patrons, Outrunner, Bowser254, and Ashrunet. Thank you all so much for the support. And until next time, stay fresh, gamers. It's been me, your boy Waddles. Goodbye.